Crackberry.com. Hi everybody, this is Simon Sage from Crackberry.com. Today we're going to be running through a few browser tips, uh, just uh, really quick ones. Uh, there are uh, some of them will be familiar to uh, hardened BlackBerry veterans, but others will be uh, nice refreshers and uh, even surprising to those of us that are familiar with the browser. So uh, first up, let's say uh, you've got a website that you visit regularly, for example, CrackBerry.com. Uh, you can save that as an icon on your BlackBerry Z10's home screen by tapping through on the, over the, the overflow menu in the bottom right there, and then uh, tapping Add to Home Screen. Pretty straightforward. So uh, after that, it shows up. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Mobile Blogs. And it jumps right into uh, the CrackBerry website. So uh, pretty straightforward stuff there, but very helpful and often overlooked. Uh, the BlackBerry 10 browser supports Adobe Flash, which is kind of interesting. Not a lot of mobile browsers are doing that anymore, but uh, it definitely allows you a more flexible web browsing experience. Uh, you can make sure that it's enabled through display and actions. Make sure that Adobe Flash is toggled on here. By default, it's turned off, uh, mostly just to save battery life, but uh, if you want the full experience, you can switch that on. Uh, speaking of which, you can also enable desktop mode from the developer tools here. So that will that will ensure that every website you go to will recognize your phone as a, as a desktop browser, not a mobile one. So that's, a, that's very helpful for those times that uh, you want to get the full web experience. As long as we're in settings here, we can also check out the privacy and security stuff. Uh, if you want to enable uh, private browsing, so uh, that means uh, no cookie tracking and you don't want to have your your uh, browsing history shown, then uh, you can enable that as turned on. Uh, you can also clear your history and clear your cookies and other data from here. So if you want to get rid of your uh, browsing history, you can do that uh, right from the standard browser here. Just tap on over in the bottom left, the uh, tab section here, tap into history, and there's a little trash bin down here at the bottom, and boom, your history is gone. But you have nothing to hide, right? Now, one thing that's a little bit annoying with uh, BlackBerry 10 is that by default, it uh, the search engine is Bing. So uh, if you want to change that up, just start typing in a search query in the address bar down here. And up in the top right, you've got a drop-down menu, and you can switch over to Google or even Yahoo if you prefer. So uh, pretty helpful uh, for on that front. When navigating web pages, uh, it can be uh, really helpful to double tap to zoom in on a specific section. So uh, obviously you, you've got the standard pinch to zoom if you want to get around, but uh, in this case we've got multiple columns here, and if we want to zoom in to just the right width, you just double tap on that section and it will uh, fit to the screen. So that's, that's pretty helpful and uh, works on a bunch of different kinds of content. We can see here that uh, it works very, very well. That's about it for the BlackBerry 10 browser. Uh, we hope you enjoyed these tips. If you've got a few others, feel free to leave a comment in our blog post. Or if you've got any questions about uh, browsing the web on uh, BlackBerry 10, feel free to hit us up in the forums.